Hey guys, I'm doing another tag video today because I'm back to school and there is not much opportunity for me to watch new TV shows or go to the movies and see relevant movies, although I do have Netflix at my disposal. There's probably an unboxing video on the way. I'm getting some stuff from Fortune Cookie Soap and I think their new boxes go out in February, so I think I should be getting that. Uh, relatively soon and as soon as I get that I will unbox it and I will unbox it on camera this time provided I get it in time to do it in front of a camera because if I get it and I'm gonna be out and about all day I'm opening it sorry I'll do the same thing that I did for the Christmas soap box I don't care today's tag video is called the 15 weird questions tag <laughs> question number one what's a nickname that only your family calls you I don't have a lot of nicknames. I'm just kind of one of those people that like doesn't attract nicknames. But my mom calls me Shawnee Bell. And when I was a kid, my dad called me Muff Muff, like Muffin. I don't know. What's a weird habit of yours? I don't know if I have a lot of like weird habits. Uh, I do, <laughs> I do smell things a lot, like food before I eat it, which not people, not people don't always do, I guess, I don't know. Number three, do you have any weird phobias? Now, this is interesting because, okay, on the kind of funny side, I have a sort of phobia of smelling bad to other people, so I am always doused in like a million lotions and potions and body sprays and perfumes because I do not ever, ever, ever want to like be known as a person who doesn't smell good. And anytime somebody tells me that I smell good is like the highest compliment that you can give me just about. And then my other weird phobia is I have a thing that's kind of hard to explain, but I have a weird thing about things that are bigger than they should be. Like sculptures, like uh, figurines, um, things on like display at like amusement parks. I don't know. I have a thing about like big things it's very difficult to explain but uh i guess an easy thing would be like especially if it's humanoid if it's like a statue in a park that's supposed to be a person but it's like 10 feet tall that freaks me out freaks me out so that's a weird thing that i've tried to explain to people and some people get it and some people don't number four what's a song that you secretly love to blast and belt out to when you're alone all of my music is embarrassing because i listen to musicals and shitty pop music from like drag racers. So yeah, I, I, I don't make a secret of it, but most of my music I have to listen to when no one's around because it's fucking stupid and weird and lame. Number five, what's one of your biggest pet peeves? I have trouble with people who try to make everything about them uh, conversationally, but also like if everyone's making plans to meet at a certain time or go somewhere or whatever and there's just that one person in the group who like needs it to be about them and needs to make it known that if you're not catering to like exactly their schedule and exactly their wants and needs and they're like not an integral part of the group at all like I have a, I have an issue with that number six what are one of your nervous habits I bite my nails, I pick at my nails like crazy. And I also run my hand through my hair sometimes when I get nervous. What side of the bed do you sleep on? Well, here's the thing. At school, I sleep on a teeny tiny twin. At home, I sleep on a teeny tiny twin. There's not much in the way of sides. It's, it's a very small bed. You're just kind of in it. Number eight, what was your first stuffed animal and its name? I don't know if there's such... I can't remember my first stuffed animal, honestly. I mean, I have I was very much a stuffed animal-centric girl. I liked stuffed animals way more than I liked Barbies. Um, but I can tell you my favorite is my stuffed Tiger Raja, who is still chilling on my bed. To this day, and she shall always, always chill with me. What's the drink you always order at Starbucks? Java chip frappuccinos or mocha frappuccinos? 
but usually if I, I, if I crave Starbucks, it's usually I'm craving a Frappuccino, which is so awful because I know it's like a kitty drink and baristas hate to make it. I always manage to go to the Starbucks inside the Target when there's only one person working and, and I always manage to go to the Starbucks inside the Target when there's only one person working and I'm like, I know you're going to hate me, but I like need a Frappuccino, bruh. Number 10, what's a beauty rule that you preach but never actually practice? I guess not washing your hair a lot. I mean, I don't wash my hair every single day. I wash it every other day, but I wash it every other day just about without fail. I need to find a dry shampoo that I actually like because I do want to start going longer between shampoos. Um, just, you know, to preserve the health of my hair and also like, you know, shampooing is bad for you. Number 11 is which way do you face in the shower? This is a weird question. Thank you, weird questions tag. Away from the, the spray, I guess. It's always hitting, it's almost always hitting my back unless I'm like washing my face, obviously. Number 12 is do you have any weird body skills? I showed that off last time. It's the big noise that I make. It's the only weird skill that I have. Number 13 is what's your favorite comfort food that's bad but you love to eat it anyways? I mean, I'm a Portuguese girl through and through. I like bread. I like cheese. I like potatoes. Could live off those things for the rest of my life. Like I could literally live off of like bread and butter. Like that's, I love it. 14, what's a phrase or exclamation you always say? I'm a person who talks almost exclusively in like catchphrases. Uh, I'm definitely right now on that like, yes, train. Number 15 is phrased, very weird, time to sleep, what are you actually wearing? I don't know what that means, but t-shirt, pajama pants. So anyway, that was the 15 weird questions tag. And as usual, thank you for watching my face. Oh, bye.